Hi, my name is Ms. Fung. I am the STEM counselor here at Granada Hills Charter High School. I am going to quickly go over the STEM requirements and STEM program today for you. Um, I am going to begin by sharing my screen. So this is the ninth grade course planning sheet that every parent should be able to assess, access once you're in the East Lecture program. I am going to go over the STEM program. Um, so STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So students that are selecting the STEM program have an interest in potentially becoming an engineer in the future, have a strong love for math and sciences, and also want to really be able to be a great writer. Um, we have a lot of research projects that STEM students do. We also encourage a lot of our students to eventually join the AP Capstone program. So for ninth graders, a majority of ninth grade STEM students coming in would select Honors English as their ninth grade English class. Um, and then for math as well, most students will take four years of high level math. A majority of my students will graduate from Granada having completed at least Calculus AB by the time they move on to college. Um, foreign languages, as opposed to most students here at school, um, STEM students will have three years of foreign language completed, which will not only meet the UCCSU requirements, but really meet the recommended uh, requirement for a foreign language completion. Um, starting in STEM, students will start off with their physical science class. That doesn't mean you will not take biology or another additional year. STEM students have the opportunity to really be able to take four years of competitive science classes and have the opportunity to pretty much take honors uh, chemistry, physics, biology, and even an additional year um, by the time they graduate here from Granada. So we do offer very competitive science courses. Um, a lot of students really enjoy taking a lot of our high level um, chemistry or biology courses as well. Um, for the STEM local option for ninth grade, we want students to really have an idea of um, you know, potentially what it means to go into the STEM field. So we offer um, an exploring computer science course, an intro to engineering class, an AP computer science principles course, a brand new principles of biomedical science course for ninth graders, and last but not least, a intro to CAD slash robotics course. I'm going to now show you pretty much the STEM electives if you have any questions on what you might want to select. So AP stands for um, advanced placement, so this would be the college level STEM um, elective that you can select from, which is AP computer science principles. Um, typically, st students that are in this course tend to do fairly well. Um, and you do also receive AP credit if you are to pass the AP exam at the end of the year. And this is going to give you a little bit of the other descriptions in regards to exploring computer science, intro to engineering, intro to CAD, and principles of biomedical science. Our computer science programming um, courses are very built out, so students have the opportunity to take at least four years of computer science if that's something you would like to do. We also offer a two-year robotics course as well for students that are intro to CAD. They can move on to taking advanced robotics their sophomore year as well. Um, we're in the process of also working on courses for the principles of biomedical science for sophomore year and intro to engineering as well. So these are all really great courses, or a lot of fun, um, and students definitely enjoy a lot of these STEM courses um, their ninth grade year. So this is quick, just a quick gist of um, what courses and offerings we have in STEM. Um, I would encourage you, if you're interested in science, math, technology, to select the STEM program. Uh, my students are also very well-rounded in terms of joining clubs and extracurricular activities. A typical STEM student will be in a sports team, part of the robotics team. A lot of students are part of science team. So that students in STEM are not only academically very strong, um, they are students that are leaders in our local community and they want to participate and be part of a lot of organizations here at Granada. Um, once again, my name is Ms. Fung. I'm the STEM counselor here at Granada Hills Charter. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me with any kind of questions or concerns. Thank you so much for your time.